Coming up soon. Good morning. Uh, we've seen a lot of national polls, but you really have to drill down at the early states like Iowa and South Carolina to see where this contest really stands. And there are a number of candidates who are counting on that debate to make up some ground. Well, I'm glad it's giving me a nice cool day down here in South Carolina. <laughs> Presidential hopeful Chris Christie courting potential voters at a campaign event in Columbia, South Carolina over the weekend. But he has a tough road ahead of him if he hopes to catch the top of the pack. New Fox Business polling shows 48% of South Carolina Republican primary voters favor Donald Trump as their candidate. The state's former governor, Nikki Haley, is a distant second at 14 percent. You know, I'm not concerned. We hit all of our benchmarks. Look, the rest of the guys have spent millions of dollars in ads and, and all of this other stuff. Another poll in the early caucus state of Iowa shows 46 percent of GOP voters back Trump over Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who's polling at just 16 percent. Donald Trump is still in an absolutely dominant position. If someone's going to sneak up on him and have a chance of beating him, you have to consolidate the non-Trump people and win over some of the Trump supporters. These polls are also helping shape the field for the first Republican primary debate in August. Trump, DeSantis, Haley, and tech entrepreneur Vivek Ramaswamy are among those who have met the polling threshold, but there's also other criteria in order to qualify. We've seen a lot of them make this 40,000 small dollar th donor threshold, which I think is just a building block. If you can't raise $40,000 in small dollar donations or 40,000 different small dollar donations, you're not going to be competitive against Joe Biden. Now, although Donald Trump has pretty easily qualified for that debate next month, it's not clear at this point whether he's going to participate. Back to you guys. Yeah, that's so interesting. All yeah. right, we'll see. Thanks, Doug.